Now, your certified most accurate forecast from WMBF First Alert meteorologist Andrew Dockery. All right, 609 here stepping out the door. You're probably going to have to give a defrost to the windshield, especially parked outside this morning. Temperatures continue to fall. Extra five minutes for the inland, 10 minutes as many of you sitting in the mid to upper 20s. If you go north of the I-95 corridor, Florence are at 29 degrees, a nice chilly morning. Remember, these are temperatures. You factor in the wind. It feels like 25 to 29 out there. Myrtle Beach, Myrtle's Inlet sitting at 33, 32. Uh, Coastal Carolina sitting at 28 there. In Conway, your school day, once again, just a chilly one for the kids. Make sure they're bundled up. They have the coat ready to go, and you'll need a layer throughout the day as we only touch 50 for our high temperature most of the day. <laughs> it's a struggle uh, with some sunshine and clear sky as we go into that forecast. Once again, clear skies tonight. Temperature should fall. 27 in Florence, 27 in Marion. Another cold one. We won't hit freezing levels, at least for the beaches, but still, whatever you're wearing today, you want to wear tomorrow morning as you're stepping out the door. We are giving the first alert, though, to weekend changes that come rolling in, and they come rolling in with some warmer weather, some cloud cover, and even some rain. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Take a look at the rest of the week. Notice tomorrow morning, 27, Friday morning, 38. So yeah, jackets needed for the entire work week as you're stepping out the door, but temperatures warm up. 60s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday there for that forecast. Let's go ahead and show you some of the latest data coming in. Some good news. If maybe you have plans Friday or Sunday, we say that because notice the clouds across the region here as we go into the day on Friday. Scattered showers around, but I don't think we have the best rain chance until 9, 10 o'clock Friday night. Remember, this is early. This will change, but we hold on to those showers moving through. By Saturday morning, looking okay. I know we do have a couple of light showers through the area Saturday morning, but it's Saturday afternoon and evening where you hold on to a little bit more of the increase, more widespread off and on rain that I think we're all kind of dreading, but we could sure ye need here across our region. We'll hold on to that overnight and then by Sunday begin to fade. In fact, rain chances drop now Sunday to 30% mainly in the morning and through lunchtime. Of course, a look at your weekend and even colder weather coming again again next week coming up in that 10 day forecast.